I just found a Goodwill. I don't think Jordan and I have ever been to. Oh, that has a horrible feel to it. This piece caught my eye too. It's a flower frog. Is that supposed to look like an elephant? I see pumpkins. You see pumpkins? I'm just gonna look and see who makes the pumpkin dishes here. Look at that. Goodwill. I don't think Jordan and I have ever been to. It's on, oh shoot, I already closed my GPS. I don't even know what street I'm on. Claremont? I think. Anyways, I'm going to get inside here and I am going to see what it looks like and what I can find. I still have plenty of room in the van and I'm heading home tomorrow, so hey, you never know what crazy thing I'm going to do. All right, let's get in there. Let's get shop done. All right, the door's open. There is one shopping cart, and it has some shoes in it. So I'm not sure what's going on here with this shopping cart. But perhaps we can put these shoes someplace else. All right, we now have a lucky cart, shoe free. As we go exploring. Caught sight of this vase right off the bat. Made in China. It's pretty, but it's not that great. All right, nothing too exciting up here in what they call like the little boutique section. So we're gonna explore the back. All right, they've got the end caps like many of the stores do. We'll give it a peek, see if there's anything exciting. I like this, it says, I'm hungry. $4.99. Actually, that's a really fun cat food container for $4.99. I think we will grab him. It's in the bucket down here. Oh, it's knitting stuff. We don't need knitting stuff. Nope. It's a drone. Ooh, that has a horrible feel to it. blackface is pretty cool and I feel like I'm looking at this for Jordan because she has like a black theme going on her desk and I feel like it's something she would pick up so I'm gonna grab that for Jordan and if she doesn't want it I'm sure I can flip it this piece caught my eye too it's a flower frog down in there looks uh, I don't know if it's a fossil or they're just natural stone Ikebana vase. It says as is. Oh yeah. It's got some damage there. Wow. I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty cracked. Oh darn it. Cause that, that's a cool piece. As is this little decorator stoneware vase. I don't know. There's just something calling to me with that one too. I'm going to grab that. I see this little black mirror back here too, but Oh, those are plastic. Those are very cheaply made. Okay, we can pass on those. I wish she was with me. I wish she was with me. That is a pretty color, but it's, look, it's not the color of the glass. It's just a stained on finish. Is that supposed to look like an elephant? No, 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 no. I just, okay, I saw an eyeball and a trunk there for a second, but it's not. It is not. Yeah. Another Thailand piece. Another little pretty piece of art glass, but this is cheap art glass. You can tell it's just kind of coarsely done. It doesn't have the right feel. It's a little lopsided. It's pretty, but it's just like a decorator piece. Apropos home collection pretty but we're looking for better than that today nutty 
by magenta. That's a cute piece for $7.99. I feel like that's a piece that still will hold value because it's cute, it's functional, and it's new with tags still, so we'll grab that. Fromage, does that mean butter? Is that the word for butter? I have a feeling it is. Gourmet village. Fromage. It's kind of a nice butter thing for $3.99, but we're going to leave it. Pupper. I don't want to go like overboard and get all the same things I would get if I was home. Because I have to deal with all this stuff when I get home. That's the other thing. $4.99 for that pretty little box. That is a good deal. I'm going to grab that. I see pumpkins. You see pumpkins? I'm just going to look and see who makes the pumpkin dishes here. Look at that. Oh, they're William Sonoma. <laughs> oh, goodness. Now, now I'm going to have to look those up. Hold on. <sighs> okay, these are $30, $40 a piece baking dishes. It's $20 for the set of three. I can't leave those behind. Miqua art. Aha, uh -huh, that's what I thought it was. They are reverse painted glass ornaments. That's really pretty. It's painted on the inside. It's $7.99. Do I want to pay $7.99 for it? Again, I might have to peek and see what these are going for these days. I know that used to be a good price to pay for them, but I'm not sure what the market has done lately, so let me give it a look up. Okay, they sell for about $15 to $25, somewhere in that range, depending on the subject matter. So I think I'm going to leave that for $8. Not quite the margin that I want to have on it. There's another intriguing little piece of pottery. It says something underneath that green sticker there. Bloomingville, Bloomingville pottery. I do really well with little pieces of pottery like this, little accent pieces, and $3.99 is a good price, so I'm gonna grab it. Let's see who makes these little casserole dishes. We don't know, because they are not marked. Ooh, those are pretty plates. They have a very Fitz and Floyd look to them. But they are Marshall Fields made in Italy. So there's four plates for $10. I don't know. I haven't been doing so great with plates lately. And I really don't enjoy selling them and shipping them. So I will leave those for somebody else. That is an interesting little cutting board. I really like the little like the little hanging ring on that. Why do I like that so much? Oh, it's got a name on it. Who makes you? Oh, it's that Bloomingville again. Bloomingville. Who makes you Bloomingville? Hmm. Four ninety nine. I think I'm gonna grab it. Oh, look at the little dachshund wine holder. He does have some paint chipping all over him. I guess that'd be pretty easy to tell. Oh no, he's actually chip chipped right there. All right, I have to leave him. What does that say? Can't tell what that first name is. Something Hook. Oh, I guess I could turn it over. Francis Hook. Francis Hook, 1980. Oh, by Roman. Sounds of the Sea. Those are cute. And then that is a Jim Shore, but unfortunately, she's missing an entire hand. Poor girl. Oh, look how cute they are. $3.99. They're not dangly though. Like normally the shelf sitters have a little like dangly legs. So I don't know how well these do, but I don't know if I can clean him up. He's pretty chipped up. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave these guys. I'm sorry guys. These are kind of cool. I don't think they're super old. Yeah. We're gonna leave those, but they are cool. Let's see, 
It's a piece to a cuckoo clock. Just a little top to a cuckoo clock. And his, is his beak chipped? No, I guess it's not. He's not priced, so I'm wondering if there's a cuckoo clock around here somewhere missing its little bird. Might be, might be. Let's see what this pillow is. Oh, it's a cornucopia pillow. Well, there's something you don't see every day. It's got an odd design. It's a cute little single candlestick. Oh, it's a party light, so it probably came in a set. We sold a jug that was a little bigger than this the other day, but a vintage one. Apparently, there looks like that's a more modern one, so they're making them again. Oh, I see Australia Starbucks for $5.99. Hey, I feel like that. It's not a bad deal, except for the fact that it's it's pretty worn. Hmm. Eh, I may regret it, but I'm gonna put that one back. Trying to be a little pickier, a little pickier. This is another piece that looks like it came from Ikea. So it does have like that Scandinavian look and feel to it because it is. It's just not super high quality glass and I'm really not looking to get any more stuff like that on this trip. Anything exciting buried under here. Hmm. I don't see anything. Thomas, made in Germany, 11 pieces. Again, it's plain white, not exciting at all. I find another nice little flower pot. So spring is right around the corner. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Um, and flowers, anything to do with flowers is gonna be super popular. I really like how this looks and I think that'll clean up a little bit so for $3.99 I'm gonna grab that I grabbed one more I thought that Jordan might like and if she doesn't I'll sell it it's $4.99 that's a really cool piece of art somebody framed all of these postcards all these vintage postcards and it's a really nice frame too it's nice they want $60 for that well, that was about all there was to see here, so I'm going to head to the checkout. I'll share a recap of everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. That's coming up right now. Decent little stop. We'll put this one on our maps for next time. We really need to map it out. We really need to just, yeah, we need to do that. It rained while I was in that Goodwill. That's how quick the weather changed. I mean, it's always been a little overcast today, but it rained. Now I gotta maneuver my way back to Jordan's house in the rain. I think I can do it. I'm gonna do it. All right, you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. 
And uh, if you have already and you haven't checked for a while, make sure you're still subscribed because YouTube does crazy things sometimes. And I just want you to know how much I appreciate you watching my videos, especially all the way to the point you're hearing this. You're my favorites. That was a circle. I, I can't make a ha I can't make a heart. Anyway. Well, I did it. I filled the van. I mean, there's still a few spots I could have snuck a few more things in. But, uh, so Jordan had some large pieces she wanted to send home with me. I've got my curio cabinet and all the stuff that I bought while I was here nicely packed and my computer and all that good stuff. And I'm rolling out. It's always kind of like sad, but yet I'm ready to be back home and hug the kidlets and the animals. Hug the animals too. Okay, so cloudy skies, but so far no rain. I don't know if I'm going to head into any, but I'm on the road again. Okay, just had to make a little pit stop for gas. Uh, this car does not have a miles to empty feature. So that was a little precarious. The little thing dinged and I was like really in a rural area. So I'm like, oh, how far do I have to get before I can get gas? Because I kind of have my places I like to stop. And I know that my car can get to those places, but I wasn't so sure. But I found a place and uh, got myself another one of these Celsius little creatures so that I don't have to take a nap on this stretch of the journey. Wild berry. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, we'll go with it. All right, we have uh, about four and a half hours to go on this drive, so saddling back up.
have made it home in record time. Record time! Wow, that feels really good. I am heading to the shop because I am getting back at a time when uh, Rebecca is still there working at the shop so I can offload the stuff that has to be shipped. So I'm not taking that all home and then transferring it and, and all of that. It's just going to go straight to where it's going to get shipped from and it'll be on its way. I think I am going to take the curio cabinet home. I love it. I want to put something special in it. Just not exactly sure where it's going yet. I don't have time to figure that out. But uh, it looks like uh, I got a I got a text from Rachel on the way home that it snowed. It snowed in Vegas, and I'm looking at the temperature right now. It's only 41 degrees at four o'clock in the afternoon, which is the warmest time of the day. So it was a chilly day, which is not pleasant for my poor tortoises. So hopefully they stayed tucked in and they will come out in a couple of months and the ones in the house are doing great and I cannot wait to get home and see all of my critters. I will say that. So I hope you've enjoyed taking this little San Diego road trip with me. It was not, it was not my norm. It was not my normal road trip, um, but it was a good one. It was a good one with a van load of stuff. So, uh, with that, please hit that subscribe button. I always forget to ask you that, but many of you watching this are not subscribed. And uh, I, someone said, left a comment the other day saying, but I watch from the TV, so I can't. Ah, contraire. Yes, you can subscribe from your TV. There's a little drop down menu if you kind of pull up. You hit it, you pull up, you'll see some choices there, and then one of them is to subscribe. I would super appreciate it. And uh, with that, you go be profitable and make it fun. See you.